Corey Feldman and Corey's Angels, and we want you to watch Stand By Me with us. Everybody wants to hear that you like love to watch your movies. Right, what do you mean you don't want to watch them? No, you want to watch them over and over and over and over. No, I don't. Sorry. Stand By Me is probably the one that I'm most endeared to in the sense of being able to see it again. Because it's not the one that you do around the country. It's just not. It's, you know, it's a little bit edgier. You can't play it for families. There's too much language in it. I mean, it's a mature film. It's not a kid's movie. I did have fun. I did have a lot of fun making Stand By Me. I also had some very hard times. It was a very difficult transitional period for me. But you know, in the Jewish religion, we turn 13 and we become men. So henceforth, at this stage, I actually did become a man, as did River. We both had our birthdays on the set. Yeah, I mean, that was it. It was the golden age of now I'm a man and I've got to take my career seriously. And it's true. Well, I'll be watching the film with two lovely ladies. Um, one, of course, is the Mangel. Courtney. And then there's um, our new friend. She's a new friend who's actually here for the angel audition process, and her name is Jasmine. I was 12 going on 13 the first time I saw a dead human being. This month, right now, yeah, is actually the 30th anniversary of this film. That's River yeah. Phoenix right there. Great person, advocate for animals and peace and love and music. He died, unfortunately, a very young death. So. Oh, okay. Come on, Teddy. Okay, now this is important. This is my big Come train on, Teddy, dodge. Man. So this shows how crazy I really am. Get off the tracks, you're crazy. See, he said it. Again, here we go, mirroring. Mirroring life and reality. That line, I uh, actually made that line up. It was the first line I ever put into a movie where it was a full line and not just a quick ad lib but it was a stolen line that I actually stole from Dan Aykroyd. I'll admit it right here, guys. Whatever is between you and your old man, he can't change that. Forget it, all right? Just forget it. I remember being very upset about this scene because it was supposed to be longer originally, and they cut the dialogue right at the last minute. Really? Yeah, and it was like, it was a lot more of my crying. Teddy tried several times to get into the army, but his eyes and his ear kept him out. Last I'd heard, he'd spent some time in jail and was now doing odd jobs around Castle Rock. That's a shame. It's a shame. Poor Teddy. Maybe we could do a sequel where Teddy becomes famous and successful. Chris, who had always made the best piece, tried to break it up. He was stabbed in the throat. He died almost instantly. Oh, that's a really chilling part of this movie is the fact that, you know, River's character dies before the rest of us and it still hasn't changed. We're still all alive and he's still not here. Stand By Me by Benny King. Great song. Yeah, that's great. And the land is dark.